Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. It's a beautiful day in Florida. I hope you guys are staying safe and sound out there. Um, I know lots of stuff is going on, but we should take the time to stop and enjoy this beautiful nature that we are gifted here. So I definitely appreciate that. I'm about to go for a drive and I want to talk to you guys while I'm driving about um, a concept theory that someone shared with me a long time ago called losing your Friday. So we're going to talk about that losing your Friday. Are we losing our Friday? Are you losing your Friday? Am I? Are we all? Let's get into that right now while we go for this drive. Enjoy this beautiful day as we're all still social distancing. Of course, social distancing is a must, right? So they say. All right, first of all, the car is looking kind of dirty. I don't know if that's coming across here, but it's really, really dirty. So we may have to stop and get this car a little shower, a little shower. All right, let's get this going here. Okay. Looks like we've got some uh, construction going on over here on the road. So while we are waiting around here to get the go ahead, while we're stopped here in traffic, um, I wanted to talk about losing your Friday losing your Friday. What does that mean? So we have to go back here a little bit in order for me to tell this story um, Years ago, you guys know that I, I always say I was involved in music So I had a friend of mine Enos who's Panamanian and he's one of the uh, not the first but one of the first people in the reggaeton era of music um, He's from Panama Panama's kind of uh, especially the black people from Panama, kind of like a mix of uh, Jamaican and Panamanian. So uh, reggae with a Latin flavor kind of a thing going on there. Anyway, so my, my friend Enos is the one that shared this concept with me and it just always stuck in my head. So if you're someone out there that knows me, this is probably familiar to you. Um, losing your Friday. So this is where he, it came from. He said he had a friend who um, he, you know, he knew for a long time they uh, grew up together. This guy met a woman, fell in love, and um, they got married, right? So, hold on, let me get through here. All right, so he's telling me about his friend. They grew up together and all this kind of stuff, right? They were always friends, always hanging out, partying together and all that stuff. His buddy meets a beautiful young woman, falls in love, gets married, they live together. And, you know, in the beginning of living together, he was still going out every Friday with his boys, right? You know, he used to go out with his boys. He was in love with his wife and everything, right? But he still, on Friday nights, after work and all that, went out with his boys, hung out, you know, did whatever they did, had a good time, came back home. It was all good. So, and this went on for years, but eventually something came up one day and there was a special occasion or a situation that went down. I think like he wasn't, uh, he, he was sick or something like that. And he couldn't go that Friday. He could not go and hang out with his boys. So he didn't, you know, he stayed home, recovered, didn't go hang out with the boys. All, everything was all good. Now, the next Friday rolls around. He's feeling better. He's ready to go hang with the boys, you know, do the man thing. And his wife goes, where are you going? He's like, what are you talking about? Where am I going? I'm going to hang with the boys. And she's like, well, yeah, but you didn't do that last week. And he was like, yeah, I know. I know I, know I didn't do that last week. I, I was sick. You know, stuff came up. That's, I couldn't do it. And she was like, yeah, well, you didn't do it last week. So you don't have to do it ever again. <laughs> and seriously, just like that, he lost his Friday. And, and this is how Enos told the story to me, that that guy could never go out with his boys again ever on Friday because he missed that one Friday something came up emergency situation he changed what he did came out of his routine and his wife who was cool with this the whole time 
and she was cool with him staying home or whatever it was when the emergency came up. After that, she was like, yeah, you, you don't need to do that anymore because you didn't do it last Friday for whatever reason. And that became what I call my losing your Friday theory. Seriously. Now, I know some people out there are going to like, what are you talking about or whatever, but I know that there's going to be a lot more people that understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm married. You're, you, you might be married. You, might, you probably have a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is that you do, and you've probably been in that situation because I know that I have been in that situation with my wife, Lola. And to be honest with you, she's been in that situation with me. So I've been there where something that I always did, I was doing this before I met her, we did it all while we knew each other, something comes up, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have to do that. Then after that, she's like, the next time I wanted to, she's like, why, why are you doing that? You don't have to do that. You, did, you didn't do it last time. <laughs> and, and it's happened with her too that um, something that she's always done and then one day I'm like, you know, she doesn't do it for whatever reason. I'm like, oh, you don't have to. Now we're husband and wife, so I'm sure folks out there, you've gone through this, you've, you've experienced it. We're husband and wife. Here's my thing, here's my thing. How does losing your Friday pertain, and we could talk about the interpersonal relationships with friends and, and wives and uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, but how does, it, how does it pertain to the government? How do you lose your Friday when it comes to the government? And it's happened. It's happened. It's not just this current COVID-19 uh, crisis, uh, virus, uh, pandemic situation that we're living through right now. I think it's it. I think we lost our Friday going back to 9/11, right? Most of us remember that, unless you were you're so young that you were born after that. And even if you were, you should. It's a thing that it's always going to live in American history. But we lost our Friday after that. Before 9-11, on 9-10, going back, there were certain things, certain freedoms that we had. And on the 9-12, we didn't have those freedoms anymore. We should still have them. We believe we have them. We believe the Constitution is in effect. But lots of things have changed because of that, and we can't ever go back. Right? I could get deep into it, but... You know, we've we've already done that in other places. You guys, I'm sure, have, have uh, had seen these conversations over 9/11 and other things that have happened. Now here we are, 2020, and we're we're here in 2020 now. We've got this uh, this epidemic, COVID-19, is upon us. And um, obviously, I get it. Social distancing. They want to. They want to slow the progress of this virus down. All that kind of stuff. They started out. I remember Mike Pence came out with 15 days to to slow the spread. Remember the sign, Mike Pence. 15 days. We're seven days into our 15 days. You know. Then recently, they said, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna have to up this to 30 days, just to be sure." just to really get in front of this. So now Mike Pence is coming out, he's got signed, he's modified now, so it's 30 days, we got 30 days to do this. Who knows what happens at the end of April? I am not trying to say to people, don't do this. Like, I, I'm, I know I'm out here driving, I'm going to work, I work by myself. Um, I'm in the studio most of the times by myself, Lola comes in, then we I edit and do all my, and upload things out of there, and then we do the podcast from there, everyone's dialing in. Um, on their own stuff, but you know it, So this thing went from 15 days to 30 days who knows some states some other countries some places It's people are pushing that to November, you know end of the year next year all kinds of stuff There's um, all kinds of restrictions going in places around the country where people now are losing access to their rights Because of what's going on Um closing gun stores, folks out there realizing that they have to defend themselves, right? You know, you don't have, you never had the protection of police officers. Let's all be honest about that. You never had that. Supreme Court already dealt with that. You don't truly have that. There's no responsibility of any police department in America to save you. You have to save yourself. Folks are realizing that. And now they want to practice their Second Amendment rights and they're out there and their states and cities and places saying, nope, you can't do that. 
So you're losing your Friday on that. You're losing your your uh, Second Amendment rights and lots of other rights. Other places telling people you can't go out. Why are you out here? Stopping people, giving them tickets because they're out and walking around. And I get it. The uh, the flip side of that is always going to go. Yeah, but we know we got to slow this thing down. It's killing people. But there is a massive government overreach going on here on top of overreaches that have already happened. Layers and layers of liberties lost over the years, going back to 9-11, going before 9-11. Liberties that we've lost and we've never gotten back. And that's what I'm talking about losing your Friday. We keep losing our Friday with everything that happens. You just think about this. Logically, what's the this thing that's affecting the entire world, the entire country here? What is the likelihood of 30 days from now, 60 days from now, six months, a year from now? What is the likelihood that everything's just going to go back to normal? Now, I think everything will go back to normal in our world. In the government's world, what is the likelihood that they're gonna let things go back to normal. It's very low. It's very low that we'll ever get our Friday back. Because once they've taken control, once they know that they could control you and stop you from moving around, stop you from going here, stop your work, kill your business, do this, do that, you've gotta do this thing, you've got, we're taking this thing, we're taking that thing, you can't travel from here to there, you know, you've gotta do this test. You know what, you've gotta get this uh, vaccine. You have to do it. You don't have any choice. It's for everyone else. The greater good. <laughs> I'm just saying, people. I'm asking the question. That's it. I'm asking the question. I'm not trying to be, you know, I joke around on the podcast about conspiracies and stuff like that. But this is not a joke. I want you guys to think about the losing your Friday theory. And ask yourself, have you lost your Friday? For that matter... Have you lost your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on top of all of that? Have you? What have you lost and what will you continue to, lo to lose to the government here? Something to think about. Tell me, tell me what, you, what you guys think about. I mean, I know this, there's a lot of people who think I'm crazy. A lot of people will come down on me. I get it. That's part of like when you make YouTube videos and you do this kind of stuff. Not everyone's gonna agree with you, which I've never expected people to, and I don't require people to agree with me. So tell me what you think, and also tell me, uh, give me examples of how you lost your Friday with uh, with your significant other. <laughs> of course you can give me, uh, leave comments here about the ways that we've lost our Friday with the government, for sure, with politicians, uh, for sure. Um, I'm, I'll be interested to hear that definitely. Um, I, I don't want to make this a super long video here, but thanks so much for listening to me. Thanks for checking out the channel. I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to invite you to subscribe here to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like us. If you hate me, give me a thumbs down. Same thing. doesn't really make um, any difference. Thumbs ups or thumbs downs. It's all good. As well as ring the bell so you can be notified when we post videos live here, or when, when videos get posted here to the channel. We don't go live on this channel. We go live on uh, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. That's where we do the podcast. You guys can check that out as well. As well as go to HankStrange.com. Uh, the reason why we're doing the .com thing, everything going on with uh, social media platforms today that just keeps smacking us upside the, the head and taking away our rights. We decided to go to the dot com. That's where we can share things without constantly uh, being penalized. Like, you know, they deleted my Facebook page and won't give it back to me. Um, and there's a lot, a bunch of other things like uh, PayPal has banned me for life, all that kind of stuff, just because I'm a gun guy. So we have decided to go to, go to doing um, most of our things go through HankStrange.com. So you can find out about all the different platforms we're on. You can find out how to support us. You can find out about our merchandise. You can get up on our email list there. Um, and we're, we're giving away things through our email list. All you have to do is be in the email list. So if, you, if you're in there and you haven't unsubscribed, when things come up that we're giving away, it's as easy as that. So anyway, thanks. I really appreciate it. Tell me how you've lost your Friday. Losing your Friday. Not the Hank Strange theory. Let's give credit to Enos. I'm going to give credit to Enos. I have no clue where he is in the world today. But 
Enos's Losing Your Friday Theory, um, as brought to you by Hank Strange. I'm out. Thanks a lot, guys, for listening to me. Peace. See ya. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.